welcome everybody to Mr. Burt's next test. Let's see if he can do it this time. The series has gone on for a while now. Let's see if he can do it. I think you probably know the, you know, the basics now of the rules if you haven't go and watch videos from the Mr. Burt saga. So we're in a different tent this time though. We've got the Wild Country Panacea. I'm going to start off with a review of it. Right, so this is obviously the Wild Country Panacea from Terranova. It's a two-man tent, and I can tell you it is a two-man tent. Um, this tent weighs 2.9 kilograms, so, you know, it's reasonably heavy, you know? Let's peel it open. So, you've got, like, these straps, which keep it in place and inside we've got pegs so this here is a basic wild country peg these are pretty solid pegs probably best pegs we've got anyway even though the outkit pegs are reasonable. Um, but yeah, it's definitely the best peg that we've got. And you get a good pack full. You've got your poles. It's just one really long pole. So now we'll have a look at the actual tent. We're going to go and pitch it. Right, everybody, I didn't actually end up being able to record the pitching because it started raining quite heavily while I was in the process. But it's pretty easy to explain. The pole clips into these little sections there. You can make it tighter and more taut by putting the pole into the middle one, not the closer one. I didn't need to do that because it's not going to be too windy today. We're not going to be experiencing any four season weather. They don't really need to tie up the guy lines either. Nice little feature. You've got this little thing here. You can prop the vent open with it. Um, the material, like, it's my feeling the material, I can tell it's better quality than anything else we got. You know, it's a thick material. It's about 70 denier polyester. Um, you can go for the more expensive version, which is the Northern Light. Turn over Northern Light, same thing, but it's made with even higher quality materials. So pretty much you just put the pole in to the different sockets and then clip it on and jobs are good and you've got your tent up and then really you just need to peg it out. I'm trying to see. You've got plenty of vents. You've got one on either side here and then a big one which you uh put up with the uh, guy, rope, guy rope, which is fine, you know. So, we're going to have an interesting test tonight. First time we've really done proper rain test. Well, actually, we did it with the bivvy in the last video. This is actually an official Mr. Burt test, so, yeah. Um, we'll go into more depth when we actually get into the tent, which isn't right now, so... We will return to you soon. Somehow I feel, consider it's raining and windy, um, and it's in the back garden. I feel like Mr. Burt's not going to make it tonight, but, you know, you never know. He's going to get everything set up in here, and we'll give you some final, uh, sort of like a final tour of the place, I suppose. It's a situation, I suppose, um... The tent's strong as hell, though, so. Yeah, and I suppose one good thing is that Mr. Burt does like listening to the rain at night, so. Not the wind, though. Not the wind. <laughs> and the combination isn't very nice. Um, we've got our light hung up there. We've got everything set up in here. You know what, the great thing about the Panacea is it is what it says, it is a two-man tent. I don't know if you can see through there, 
Maybe if I shine the light that way, nah, you won't be able to see through there. But through that vent there, there's big porch, and then you've got another one on that side. The material on this thing's good, so the chances of this thing leaking are incredibly low. So, yeah, we're going to try and get settled down. Right, everybody, we're heading out. Crawling our way in. <sighs> right. Why do I always get dragged into these? Alright, good night everybody. The rain is still going on a bit now. We're reasonably comfortable in here. So we're going to try and get to sleep and we'll see you at some point in the night. Can you guess what happened? We didn't make it. As simple as. But yeah. The tent the tent held up very well and now we're gonna cook up some breakfast. So we got all the food really, and we're gonna be cooking it up on the old rack. Um, and this meal is always very delicious, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be today. So we'll be seeing you again next week, probably. Maybe a couple times. Got some interesting stuff planned. Oh, that did not go well. Not only did we not sleep, it was too windy to cook a breakfast on the old rack. So yeah, the first truly unsuccessful mission we've had. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. For now, I'm going to go to sleep. Bye-bye.